Stop wasting your time on Etsy. No, not quite like that, <laughs> but I totally understand if you're wanting to move on to a different platform. But I hear horror stories every day, week and year of people telling me how they've spent hours and hours and hours doing keyword research. They've optimized their listings and they're just stressed out at the amount of time. And this is, it's not just, pe in fact, it's not even people with giant shops, because if you have giant busy shops, you're spending quite a lot of your time on dealing with customers and dealing with your orders and everything. But this is people who perhaps even haven't listed their first listing yet or have small shops. And they are spending so much of their day doing almost busy work. And I get almost jaw droppingness when I tell people, really, the kind of things they're doing, they should only be taking an hour or so, a quarter or every so often. So I'm going to do a little series because you seem to like series of just doing showing some of the quick research kind of things that I do um, and you can follow along with me. So I am a little late but I'm getting stuff ready for Christmas so I wanted to share with you a little something of what I'm doing to pull in my keywords and have a bit of a nosy. We'll see how long this takes. I am using my eRank Expert account. You can absolutely do this without an eRank account at all. Um, just you can go into your Etsy stats and get all this data. It's just a little bit easier on eRank and you can use Excel spreadsheets or a pen and paper. I used to do that all the time. This is slightly faster, but there's nothing that you can't do a different way. But what I'm going to use, first of all, is use the traffic stats tool. To use this, you have to have um, connected your Google Analytics to your Etsy shop and then connected that to eRank. It doesn't take too long to do. Um, so if you haven't done that, you might need to go through your Etsy shop. But if you have done that, well, let me show you how quick this is. So first thing I want to do, I'm wanting to find my keywords that I really need to keep an eye on. Basically, the ones we're coming up to the busiest time. We've got Halloween, Christmas, all the good stuff coming up. So I want to see how my keywords are doing and what I can do about it. So this is the traffic stats tool and I've filtered to the last 15 months. So that covers the keyword, the keyword, the Christmas time. What I'm going to do is make a keyword list. So I've clicked this little blue thing at the bottom and I click new list and I'm going to Christmas 2023, let's call her that. So we have a new list, it has no keywords in it. So now what happens when I see any keywords I like the look of, I'm gonna bring it into my list. And basically keywords that I like the look of just now, these are my top keywords that are coming from Google Analytics, the, the keywords that Google Analytics finds. So they're not the things, not the search terms that come from the app. So I might be missing a few, but this is good enough. In keyword research, you don't have to get right into the weeds and compare one to one kind of thing. You just have to look at a quick overview. So I'm wanting to find for Christmas 2023, my most important keywords. Well, the one that got me the most visits was Corgi dog bookmark. That's a term that seems to have quite big peaks and troughs, but it's definitely a good one to look at. Um, I'm going to leave, no, look, we're just going to do them all, all just now. Corgi gifts, Corgi bookmarks, uh, border collie, it was in a different list, so I just turned it off and back on again. Cat bookmark, bookmark, um, oh, and I want individual breeds of dogs, that's nice to see as well. Custom felty dog, because custom seems to be trending when it hadn't been. Havanese, I don't know what that is. Corgi butt bookmark, that is interesting. It's a very specific term. Um, now we're getting down into the ones that don't have so many visits. They weren't so important, but I'm just going to look at some of them that look relevant. Um, so I'm leaving out Border Collie plush because I don't make plushies. I'm leaving out Samoy toy because I don't make toys. Um, 
and yeah let's have a look at all of these needle felt dog used to be my big keyword i've not been focusing on that oh definitely need a bookmark let's add cats and dogs uh, and the singular and i I think that's enough for just now. That's a good number of keywords. So I have collected 27 keywords that are very important to me. Um, so that didn't take long. What we're going to do, um, can I just go, I can go directly from here, view list. So I've clicked to open this wee thing. I click view list and we already get something pretty handy. I get to see all my keywords and what I'm really looking at here is the trend line graph. Now, obviously most of us, this is my shop name. Most of us, our shop name doesn't get a whole load of searches um, and this is showing the US trends anyway so <laughs> I'm in the UK um, but we look at the trends I can see bookmark is coming up a bit bookmarks is an okay keyword bookmark is sort of dropping in some markets but looking good in others border collie so I'm looking already I'm saying border collie it does okay but maybe a that's not going to be my biggest focus. Cats are good and cat bookmark. Mm, that's disappointingly low for a keyword that I'd aimed for. Cats, Chinese crested. That explains why my Chinese crested haven't been selling for a while. Corgi doesn't look like much, but 6,000 searches is actually quite a lot. Corgi bookmark could come back for Christmas so it's worth keeping an eye on. Corgi butt bookmark very few people search for. I use the term because it is my in my listing but yeah it's not a big deal. Okay so what oh yes dog I, right so I was going to do something else but we're seeing dog bookmark has just had a really big uptick in searches now this is an important one because this one really helped me last year so what i do click the little box beside it and that gives me the option to copy one tag you could copy more than that but this is the one that i found that is super important for me just now so i'm going to go to tools rank checker this isn't necessarily what i was going to do but this is what I've seen that's important. So I've gone to the rank checker, I've pasted in the dog bookmark and the rank checker is going to check the Etsy's API and have a quick look and see, you know, what's, what's good about this, where my listings are ranking for this keyword because I've suddenly discovered this is an important keyword for me. And when we have a look, Relieved to see that for dog book markets getting quite a few searches, competition isn't high. It's currently a good keyword and I'm on page one. So I'm relieved to see that, but it is also very important. So I'm going to go to shop monitor tool and into the edit keywords. Uh, did I have dog bookmark? I don't even have dog bookmark so I'm going to paste that in and save that so I've added that to my superstar keywords do I I'm monitoring 20 I'm going to get rid of a few of these because this in fact right in fact let's do the thing let's do this properly so I've got rid of all of the keywords here for just now we'll come back to that so tools keyword lists and where did it Christmas 2023 open her up so the keywords that I want to track well the bookmarks are, I'm unlikely to be ranking for them because they're high competition but it could be something I want to see how cats are going what can happen and corgi here when I start ranking for dog bookmark then I start to make sales and then I start to show up for other search terms so Etsy starts to say oh she's good for dog bookmark is she good for corgi bookmarks so yeah I'm just going to pull up all of these definitely dog let's go for that as well pulling up everything relevant that I looked at I could just click them all pretty much but I don't want to track them all 
felt bookmark i want to see how my bookmarks are my biggest sellers so let's look at all the things that are re relevant for that um unique bookmarks okay and so copy them all come into shop monitor edit keywords and paste them in here so i am now so what this is going to do is every night the monitor tool is going to come in and have a wee nosy now this is the keywords that it's found before but because i've added these different keywords it's going to start searching for these keywords so i can see for instance dog bookmark we just said that was a good term and this listing that was on page one it was actually on page two a week ago and we can see how it increased it was on page two and it's only just hit page one today that's actually i didn't know that but so you can keep an eye like i know now that that burgundy colored line is important to me and i want to see when it if it's staying up the way if i start to not be ranking for dog bookmark maybe i want to make some more dog bookmarks maybe i want to play around with my photog photography maybe i want to post about that on my social media you know make some pinterest and facebook and instagram reels and stuff so people can see about this the other thing you can do so that's that's what i'm going to be doing that's what i'm going to be tracking but another thing you can do we had a wee look for the rank checker for the one thing we did but you've copied all of these tags all of these keywords that you were wanting to know about we can have a real quick look right just now okay so i had to paste all these in rather with a comma but one per line i'll speak to the team about that that's a bit of a pain but so the bulk rank checker has searched and found my listings so this is cool to see for all the keywords so handy to see like we said dog bookmark and when my listing ranks for dog bookmark and gets some sales and stuff over time, Neetzi starts to push up Corgi bookmark a little bit more and, you know, I rank better for things. This is only shown as the first few pages of where things are ranking. Um, but yeah, I'm still getting an idea. I can see all my listings ranking for these terms and I can also check and say, oh, what terms am I not ranking for? Let's, with one missing, oh, I can't see that just now okay corgi butt bookmarks oh page one position five awesome anyway so we've got all of all of our listings where they're ranking for the keywords that we put in so if you want to do a big a, a quick check but once you've got them into the spotted on each see the monitor tool from tomorrow i'm going to start to see all these keywords added so that is the very first thing to do to just find the keywords that worked for you last year, pop them into a list. Um, on eRank, it's nice and quick. As you can see, you can do it with pen and paper. Then you can use the eRank rank checker on a free account. So then come and check your rank um, for the keywords that you want to. Um, spotted on Etsy, you can monitor one term i believe so you could pick your superstar keyword there um and then all you want to do you will see other e-rank searches other keywords it's got in its database so you're you might see results for the keywords that you haven't put in so that's handy to see as well you might get some cool ideas but then all you want to do perhaps once a week open this up and go like i just did oh good oh dog bookmarks doing good that's good to know because i had thought when i saw where it was ranking i thought oh maybe i can do something to get it to rank higher or to do better it's just gone up to a good place just as the search volume's picking up i'm happy with that but other things i might want to look at what is this one needle felted dog so that listings drop down a little bit why is that? Is that an important keyword to me? Maybe I can make some more listings or maybe I can feature that on social media. Again, I can quickly look and say, 
oh dog bookmark here is just dropped but that is okay because i know dog bookmark here has just gone up so sometimes they switch over so i don't need to worry about that Etsy's choosing different ones um this one this listing for a needle felted dog was ranking it climbed up a bit and now it seems to have gone away so perhaps i could feature that one a little bit so good good to know you're watching these now don't freak out like if i've seen this one dog bookmark dropped away and it's dropping away yeah sometimes the the spaghetti change changes places as different ones do a little bit different but if i see something consistently falling away or totally dropping off maybe i want to look into that so that is all you quickly want to do for this. That is all um, the kind of keyword research I want to do for my past keywords. I could go into Etsy itself and see if I can get keywords that related to the app. Um, it's doubtful what, what extra data Etsy's given us there. But that's good enough. I found my big keywords. Um, yeah, so maybe do that maybe do that once a quarter maximum once a quarter depending on how busy your shop is it you really want to see hundreds and thousands of views as a data set before you're you're looking at keywords and things so past 15 months is definitely a good time and you can go in pick those keywords and then you can monitor them for six months I would say, yeah, we want to monitor these through the Christmas period. I want to make sure I'm ranking for as many of these terms as I can. So that might tell me, oh, I need to get in and make some more listings like this. Or I want my focus of my photography being on making these listings better. These listings are the ones I'm going to push to social media. But do not spend hours. Don't waste your time. People sit and they go, oh, I had four views for that this month and I had three this month. What's happening? Nothing. It's within normal variations. Don't try and make single things add up. Just go, oh, these were kind of important. I've looked at the search trend. How are they doing? On we go. That is as much in depth as you need. I hope that helped. Um, and if this is useful, let me know and I will do more stop wasting your time on Etsy sort of quick SEO things. Anyway, thank you so much. See you next time.